how's it going? It's old Raptor Jesus here with another playthrough of Red Dead Redemption. Had to donate a bit of money, you know, been making some cash. I always like to keep a little bit for myself, you know. You never know. You never know what's going to happen when you're an outlaw. So it's good to share, but make sure you're ready and steady, yeah? Jose? <laughs> you want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading, exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big Shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. <laughs> Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, you can buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. He won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be <laughs> rude about this magnificent creature. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Excuse me for yes, my squeaky chair boy. again, fellas. Come on, he's not that bad. All the time. Poor thing's yeah, old. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, okay, boy. Let's go, boy. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. Yeah, I finally put my hat Don't back on, fellas. Come on. I bet you thought I was gonna forget, the huh? Beautiful saddles. <laughs> I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like. Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. It does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Too many folks about. 
There, boy. He has pretty big chorus, isn't he, fellas? Morning, friend. All right, boy. You're all right, boy. Stables are just up ahead. All right. Go sell that big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But, your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Yeah, I'm gonna sell them, fellas. It's quite a chunk of change. Yeah, see my thoroughbred, I think he's a little bit better. Where is he? Yeah. I don't know why it's making me buy it. Guess it's free. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I actually thought my computer was freezing up. I mean, my PlayStation was freezing up, fellas. You just gotta get yourself a nice saddle, I think. Buy some of this horse medicine, it's pretty handy. Especially way I ride, fellas. <laughs> a couple sugar cubes for the road. Alright, partner. You got yourself a deal. 
And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. He kind of like that big horse. Yeah, all your one. papers. And on me. Just the same, you I guess. A grooming brush. Race horse I've been bonding treats. with it anyway. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. Hop on up there, let's go. You won't know till you get in the saddle. All right, let's get going. Up here and we got quite a ride ahead of us. Get to the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run. Up in the mountains, east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So Back how to are the grizzlies things with you and John? Grizzly, huh? Fine. <laughs> Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. And he knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long, and you know it. Maybe, but please don't you put that to the test. Such a beautiful country up here when it's not okay. blizzard. I think we need to head right up here. <laughs> Things always look a bit different when you're not fighting for your life, fellas. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. Yep. Yeah. So what do you think about Shaw? You reckon he's all right? Who knows? I sure hope so. But it's been a while now. Somebody said he got knocked out in Blackwater? Yeah. I just don't know if he was picked up or picked off. Or got away. If there's one thing Sean McGuire's good at, it's wriggling out of things. Yeah. Guess we don't know nothing till we know. Look there. Yep. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. You just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with... Yeah, let's use some dynamite. I think that'll get them, fellas. Shotgun, if I remember right. <laughs> uh, let's see where these little fellas are. Forgot I could do that. <laughs> I 
That's the horse track. <laughs> Whoops. There's probably rabbits down here. I had one of my sights, but I let it go. Whoa. That sounds like a bar. <laughs> There's one. Got one! Got that little feller. want to try to get a clean kill, you know. You don't want to ruin the meat. Good job. All right. It's getting late. You know, the more it suffers, the more here. you suffer sure. in the meal. <laughs> well, then you get a set up. Set up the whole camp here. Well, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <laughs> Cook this little meat on my knife. There we go. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. Old people are so weird sometimes. <laughs> you go to bed at 7 and wake up at 7 every morning. <laughs> I guess I'm a bit weird and I can just like go to sleep and wake up at you know the required time. I don't wake up on a schedule. But I guess if you get yourself in a ingrained in a routine, you know, it's hard to break that after so long. I gotta save some of that meat. I don't think there's anything else I can make. I guess it's All time right. for bed, fellers. Well, after a long day, you know, riding. It's good to get a nice fresh. Light to find this monster. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. He better be worth See all See ya, fellers. Hey, fellas. That's the rest of my video. I hope you're really enjoying this playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. I think it's such an excellent game, and I hope you guys are enjoying the story as much as I am. And I hope you keep your uh, shield arm strong and you have a good game next time because it's really important to me that you guys are having fun in this dreary, dreary world we live in.